Right you guys, got another video here for you. This one's been requested by a channel member of mine. He wants to know how to disable the automatic device uh, driver installation on Windows 7. He said he's having some problems with uh, a confliction and he needs to have that driver uninstalled so he can put on a new driver. But every time he reboots, Windows puts the driver back on. Well, I'm going to show you how to go around that. And there's two ways again about it. Uh, if you've got Windows Ultimate, or Windows um, Professional or Enterprise, you can use the Group Policy Editor, and uh, you can do that by coming down to the Start or the All button here. Type gpedit.msc. This will open up the Group Policy Editor, and uh, once we pull that across there, you can go to the actual computer configuration, and then you want Administrative Templates. Pull that tab down and then you want um, system pull that tab down and then inside here you're looking for driver installation let me just pull that open now driver installation once you're in here you can see turn off windows update device drivers uh, search prompt okay so what we're going to do here is double click on this on the uh, turn off windows update device drivers and uh, once we've got that open you can see some information down here, a little bit of help, help information, and uh, it will tell you what the disable and enable will do. And we're going to be enabling this because turning it off will enable uh, the actual device driver search prompt. So by enabling that, that's going to disable it. And then we're going to apply an OK. OK, that's one way of going about it. And uh, let, me, let me just show you the other way. Now, if you've got Windows, um, if you've got Windows Starter, or Windows Basic or Windows Premium, Windows 7 that is, um, or Vista, or you've got Windows 8 in those models, then what you need to do is come up to My Computer, then go Properties, and inside here we want to go to Advanced System Settings. Go to the Hardware tab here, and you should see uh, Device Installation uh, Settings. Now, either way, you could do that in Ultimate as well, you could do it this way as well. Could do it both ways in in the ultimate enterprise and professional but in the other versions this is the only way you'll be able to do it because you haven't got the group policy editor so you can actually click on this and inside here you'll see a little pop-up box and all you need to do here is put no let me choose what i want to do and then you can choose what you want to do here never install device uh, drivers and updates you can put that in there if you wanted to just until you fix your issue save and then click OK you will need to reboot the system and once you reboot the system your device drivers will not be installed automatically so once you install this and reboot the system you should be pretty good to go to install your own driver that you need to put in there okay and that should solve your issue so I hope this helps you out I'll be making more videos again in the future. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, remember hit that subscribe button and show your support. Also, rain favourite all my videos. And uh, I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.